I want to encourage brown women to date out, experiment with it. Don't be afraid to try something new. And that's it. The numbers are against us. There's not enough to go around. Stop talking about polygamy. Cut it out. And um, polyamory, I'm saying, excuse me. And just give it a try. The men don't have any reason to date out. I'm going to call it what it is. There is no reason, and I can't tell anybody what to do, but there is no justification for most brown men to be dating others, but they're doing it. Now, there are some brown men that nobody finds attractive, and I'm telling you the truth because I've seen them at my local Target. And they're with Latina women, and those women are like a size 14, 16, and unshapely, and he has to deal with that because that's all he could get, and I understand that part. I'm not talking about that. In general, they have no reason to date out. A lot of brown women are waiting around, and that's the reason why they're not getting with any brown women because they know they're desired by so many women. They just like to keep going from woman to woman because it's fun. And then when they get tired and they're lonely, they're going to wonder... They're going to regret not sell, settling down with a woman. But anyway, I digress. So do it. Just go on a date with somebody that asks you that's not of your race. What's it good? You're going to be uncomfortable. Allow yourself to feel. Say, I feel uncomfortable. Okay, feel uncomfortable. I'm nervous. And you should be. He's a stranger. You don't know him. Just allow yourself to feel. Identify your feelings. I'm kind of, I kind of feel embarrassed. Okay. Feeling these feelings doesn't mean it's a wrong thing that you're doing. It just means that you're alive and you're in touch with your feelings. And that's good. They think we're beautiful. We smell so good. Mm, I could tell you a story about a brown woman going this, down the staircase in a, in a train station in Brooklyn years ago when I was in college. And this white teen man coming up. And he was... They were the same age category, probably like 40, 50s, approaching 50s. And he watched her go down those steps. And she had like this yellow top with a slight V-neck in the back. And these were the days when women dressed and wore clothing and not leggings every single day. So she was wearing a top and she was perfumed. You know, she was beautiful. She wasn't, her hair wasn't long. She was a Caribbean looking woman with short hair, spiky at the top, the way we do when we cut our hair, short sides. And he watched her go down like, wow, we're beautiful. Just walk knowing that you're beautiful. Forget the magic. You're beautiful. Know that you're beautiful. You're smart. And you can have a conversation. And you'll know when to go home. Put sex in the um, vault and lock it up in the safe. Talk. Use your mind. Get to know the person. Take it out. 